In this problem, we have x to the third minus x squared minus 17x plus 20 divided by x minus 4. And we need to use synthetic division to quickly evaluate this. The first thing I want to point out is that because we have the denominator being in the form of x plus or minus a number, this is a suitable problem for synthetic division. And then now let's proceed with synthetic division. The first step is you take the number in the denominator and you change its sign. So that minus 4 becomes a plus 4 for the sake of synthetic division. Then now let's set up the synthetic division table. As always, you probably might see different ways of setting up this table in your classroom or other videos, but you can set it up however you wish. This is just the way I set it up. You do not have to set up like this at all. But what you want to do is you want to put the 4 on the outside of this table and then fill in the coefficients on the term of the numerator from left to right. So x cubed has a hidden coefficient of 1. So I'm going to put a 1 here. That minus x squared has a coefficient of minus 1. Minus 17x has a coefficient of minus 17. And then plus 20 is just plus 20. And then now you proceed with synthetic division. So first step is you always drop down the first number inside the table. So drop down the 1. And then now you multiply and add. So do 4 times 1. 4 times 1 is just going to be 4. Now do minus 1 plus 4. You add these numbers. So minus 1 plus 4 is positive 3. Now do 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is just 12. Now do minus 17 plus 12. If you do that, you should get minus 5. And then finally, multiply 4 and minus 5. That's going to be negative 20. And 20 minus 20 is just 0. And now we're done with synthetic division. We know what the coefficients are in the answer. So because in this problem, we started with a, the highest degree being x cubed. In our answer, we're going to start with x squared, the next highest coefficient. So what this means is that 1 is the coefficient on x squared. And you just keep going down. 3 is therefore the coefficient on x. And then minus 5 is just minus 5. Because after x, you just have the constant number. And then 0 is our remainder. So this is like saying we have plus 0 divided by x minus 4, which was the division, the, the divisor at the start. So let me just go down and summarize this. Therefore, our answer to this problem is x squared, because you have 1 times x squared, plus 3x minus 5. And then this 0 x plus 4, 0 divided by x minus 4, well, that's just 0. So I'm not going to add that. And this is it. This is the answer to our problem. So if you do x cubed minus x squared minus 17x plus 20 divided by x minus 4, you will get the answer of x squared plus 3x minus 5. And I want to point out something. Notice that our remainder is 0. Because our remainder is 0, we can say that x minus 4 is a factor of x cubed minus x squared minus 17x plus 20. So whenever you get a remainder of 0 in synthetic division, you can say that the divisor is a factor of the numerator.